For the first time in more than 60 years, the 2024 presidential election will be a rematch. After Tuesday's primaries, both President Biden and former President Trump have enough delegates to be their party's presumptive nominees. Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt explains what comes next. In a surprise to no one, Tuesday's primaries cemented President Biden and former President Trump as the 2024 presidential candidates. Here's the rematch that uh, very few people wanted. Political science professor Todd Belt says because both men are so well known, voters will have a clear choice in the upcoming election. People have to decide, do I want to live under Biden's America or do I want to go back to Trump's America? Former President Donald Trump celebrated Tuesday's results in a video message sent out to voters, then quickly turned to a general election pitch. Now we have to get back to work because we have the worst president in the history of our country. And President Joe Biden has been campaigning all week, talking to voters in New Hampshire, Michigan, and Wisconsin. I'm optimistic, not just about winning, but I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic about the country. Now both leaders have a long campaign ahead of them, with the general election still more than seven months away. We are in the age of permanent campaigning, and this is going to be an exhausting election for Americans. And Professor Belt predicts this election will be very negative and focused on attacking the opposition. Trump being a threat to democracy and on Trump's side, we're going to hear a lot about uh, Biden's failed policies. The last time we saw a Biden-Trump face off, the election came down to just a small number of votes in key swing states. And Belt says that's likely to happen again. It's going to be very, very close because people haven't shifted their attitudes on these candidates very much. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.